Hello friends, today I am going to discuss with you all regarding the documentation and record keeping to improve the standard of physiotherapy practice. So first I will be discussing with you all regarding the four important points. The first point is the documentation can be done in a paper form or in an electronic that means in a digital form. Second, it has to be done as per the local professional regulatory bodies guidelines. Number three, it has to be done in accurately and it has to be done on time. Number four, there is a strong need to maintain the record for a longer duration. So here we need to understand the things which we don't measure that things we cannot improve. So it is very important for us as a therapist to do a proper documentation and record keeping. Now let us see what are the physiotherapy documentation we we need to do so there are four main things which we have to do the first one is a consent form it is a form where you know we get in written permission from the patient to give a treatment and in that we explain the risks involved with the given treatment so it is a, always a good practice to take a permission from the patient in a return and then we do the treatment the second one is assessment Form or assessment form where we mention about demographic data that includes your name, age, sex, occupation, religion, address, etc. Then history taking, assessment, etc. Examination, etc. So that comes under your second. The third one is your registration form of your OPD or the hospital. And the fourth one, which is very important, that is patient feedback form. It is very important because we can measure the efficacy of our treatment okay that how the end user of our treatment they feel by our treatment so these are the uh, examples for the physiotherapy perspective now let's see what are the tips okay with which we can uh, protect ourselves against the any allegation so there are five main things which we need to consider the first one is always write date time and do signature in patient's card or the file after giving the treatment so it will become a proof it becomes a doc it, it can be documented later on second make all the entries immediately after the treatment is given the third one is write neatly and legibly legibly means uh, handwriting should be properly readable fourth point be accurate and thorough thorough means what okay write completely okay and accurately number five always use only the standard abbreviations to avoid the misunderstandings now let us see what are the why there is a strong need for the proper documentation so the first one is for the proper planning and evaluation of patient treatment second it creates a permanent record for the future treatment third the documentation and record keeping it enhances the research the fourth one, it justify the care which is provided and we can do the monitoring of the different outcome measures okay, by doing a proper documentation. The other point, it includes, it enhances the patient safety okay, as we are taking the consent form, after that we are giving the treatment and we are keeping all the records. And next point, it enhances the communication between the healthcare providers, so medical paramedical, social vocational, all the rehab team members can have a good communication if they do a proper documentation. Seven, always you need to remember that the documentation which you are doing, okay, the information, okay, the patient's rights to privacy must be respected and protected. So the information of the patient should not be disclosed to anybody without the consent of the patient. Now there may be chances that while doing the documentation there may be some mistakes that may occur. So do a single strike off, okay, don't do the multiple strike off and as far as possible avoid uh, doing the white out or uh, using the whiteness. Okay? So these are the points you need to remember. So do a proper documentation, it will be definitely going to be helpful to you all. Okay? Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.